Have you ever seen a picture of your parents when they were young? My parents have all of these old photo books with pictures from their childhood. When I look through them, it's easy to tell who my parents are. Even though they were a lot younger, they still look mostly the same. My dad was still tall, he still had brown hair, and green eyes. My mom was still short, with red curly hair. And that got me thinking. Anytime you see something when it's young, like this kitten, you can probably guess what it looks like when it grows up. This kitten will get larger, but it will still have its same orange stripes, its pointy ears, and its green eyes. But is this always true? What if I showed you this little animal? What do you think this animal will look like when it grows up? Don't worry if you got this one wrong. This animal looks totally different when it grows into an adult. Believe it or not, this animal changes into a frog as it grows. But how is that possible? This little creature doesn't look anything like a frog right now. How does this happen? That's our question for today. How did this animal turn into a frog? To start investigating, let's take a closer look. This animal is a tadpole. These little creatures are amphibians, a group of animals that need to live on land and in water. Just like all plants and animals, tadpoles go through a life cycle where they're born, they grow, they reproduce, and they eventually die. Now when amphibians are born, we call them larvae. As they grow, the larvae will become young adults. Then, once they're fully grown, amphibians are now just called adults. As adults, amphibians can reproduce and lay small eggs. Then as they continue to grow, over time, they eventually die. These four phases of birth, growth, reproduction, and death make up the life cycle of amphibians. Now let's go back and model the life of our tadpole. Tadpoles hatch from small, soft eggs, just like these. Based on the life cycle of amphibians, what can we call the tadpole? When amphibians are born, they're called larvae. So this tadpole we call a larva. Over time, our tadpole grows bigger. But as it grows, it also starts to change. What are some of the differences you notice about the tadpole as it continues to grow? You may have noticed the tadpole's gotten bigger, and now it has four legs. Those are some big changes. This tadpole is going through a process called metamorphosis, where an animal's appearance will completely change as it grows. When tadpoles complete metamorphosis, they look like this. They're just adult frogs. This frog can then reproduce by laying more soft, small eggs into the water. When the eggs hatch, what will they look like? Well, you might think they're just going to look like frogs, but smaller. But remember, when amphibians hatch, when frogs hatch, they're tadpoles. So they actually look like this. Unlike most animals, adult amphibians look totally different than their younger selves. That's because during their life cycle, amphibians go through lots of changes. They hatch from small eggs and are born as tadpoles. But as they grow, they go through metamorphosis and entirely change. As adult frogs, they reproduce and over time, eventually die. Now that you've learned how tadpoles become frogs, it's time to show what you know. Today you learned about a process called metamorphosis, where animals go through big physical changes as they grow. But not all animals go through metamorphosis. Use your knowledge of the amphibian life cycle to pick out which of these animals will not go through metamorphosis. In this lesson, we discussed how amphibians, animals that must live in water and land, go through a process of metamorphosis during their life cycle. Animals such as frogs, salamanders, and toads will have very different characteristics as they grow. Animals like dogs, squirrels, and tigers they look very similar when they're young and when they're adults. They're mostly just bigger. That's because these animals do not go through metamorphosis. From this lesson, remember, amphibian life cycles include birth, growth, reproduction, and death. 
But as they grow, amphibians go through a process called metamorphosis, where they totally change their appearance. That's all for now, but stay tuned for next time.